for last season. As we look at Fanning on the rankings, oh, you can see a little splash. Oh. Holy shit. Excuse me. Looks like Fanning needing. Fanning needing some assistance. He's swimming into the beach. As we sound the horn to stop the final. Fanning still swimming on his own right to the assistance of the jet skis. He'll hop on the sled and reset. So climbing up with his own ability as he keeps his head down. Fanning with a thumbs up, he is okay. Rushing to the water safety. His leash chewed off as he shakes this one off. And the water safety on hand as Mick catches his breath. Wilson also out of the lineup with Peter Mel. Once again, the final is paused. As we're going to clear the lineup now to let Fanning catch his breath. But a big sigh of relief seeing Fanning in one piece. As we saw the fin out the back. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, one of the, the dangers of professional surfing. And uh, nervous moments right there. What a moment in pro surfing. We've seen the shark rule come into effect at this very venue, but nothing ever seen before. That dramatic. And that frightening as Fanning shakes this one off, and we're so happy oh, that he's okay on the back of the sled. One of those scary moments in surfing in South Africa, this time in a final before he even caught a wave. Big thanks to our water safety, reacting quickly to go to Mick's side. You can see that leash broken right off. Both of them on the the boat as we will wait for more word from our commissioner's office to see when we'll be completing this final. Yeah, well. Growing up in South Africa, that's, uh, I've uh, experienced a lot of that kind of stuff around me. It was big enough, it came up, we got stuck in my leg rug. And it was fully like, it was like, just as yeah, I was, here, I got it. Yeah, just as I was like, yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I just, um, we're just trying to process, I think, uh, more than anything. You know, you kind of just want to hug him. <laughs> but you, you wrestled the shark. Hey, um, you know, and this is why this is here, right? This is exactly why this is here. Um, Everyone is, uh, we're all here. Everyone's cool. Everyone's safe. Um, no, absolutely no, no nothing. Just a cut leash. But um, we're, we're very fortunate. I'll, I'll tell you what, Mick. Yeah. Um, can, can you give us a little bit of a, a rundown of what, what happened? As I'm attached to a here, man, I'm, I'm, my heart. <laughs> I was just sitting there. I was just about to, like, just start moving. And then I felt something grab, like, got stuck in my leg rope. And I, like, instantly just, just jumped, like, away. And then it just kept coming at my board. And I just was, like, kicking and screaming. And, well. <laughs> see some teeth? You get some teeth? I, I just saw fins. I didn't see the teeth. I was, I was waiting for the teeth to come at me as I was swimming. I was like, ah! Did you get a couple punches in? I punched it in the back, <laughs> I, I cannot believe this is, uh, is unfolding here, but I mean, hey, uh, we'll, we'll get a process here for a bit, and uh, yeah, you guys got to take it away and see what our, our process is going there. Wow. Thank you, Pete and Mick Fanning. Right now, we're waiting on an update for the status of the final as Fanning takes this moment in, an emotional, scary, dramatic moment in pro surfing, and Fanning and Julian Wilson are okay, and on the safety of the boat, as we'll wait for our word from our commissioner's office to get the result to see how we're going to run this final. Member Wilson at the 6.67. Now let's get that update. Rosie Hodge is with Renato Hickel. That's right. I'm standing by with Deputy Commissioner Renato Hickel, and this is a situation, you know, 
the shark will actually came into effect because of a J-Bay heat that occurred with Taj Mahal. What is the situation right now? How does the Commissioner's Office handle this? Well, Rosie, we have rules and regulations in place for this incident. There's actually two sharks, apparently, so our three horn were blast. We have now the heat on hold, and we will only resume the, file, the final once we 100% sure it will be safe for the surface to compete. Okay, and Renata, obviously there's also going to be some kind of a trauma that Mick would probably feel comfortable going back in the water. So will you chat to him and find out where his mental space is at before he enters the water again? Yeah, absolutely. Not only Mick, but uh, Julian as well. You know, maybe they don't feel comfortable to, to compete today and then we're going to have to address the situation. This is the first time in professional uh, surfing history, you know, I never experienced, nobody ever experienced it, a situation like that where a surfer is actually tackled by two sharks right when the, when the final starts. So we're going to address the situation and we'll let you, everyone knows what we're going to do in, in, a, in a few minutes. All right, well obviously the safety of the surfers is the most important thing. Obviously Mick and Julian are okay, which is, you know, great to see, so we'll just have to assess what we'll do moving forward. Back to you, Joe. Thank you, Rosie and Renato, for the update. We'll keep you guys posted on the status of this final with Mick Fanning versus Julian Wilson. As Renato mentioned, he's been on tour for several decades. This is the first incident he's ever had in pro surfing. Watching this yep. go down, Pachi won your title in 89. Have you ever seen anything like this happen? No, not at all. Um, I've seen sharks in the water during a, an event in Reunion. Um, Shane Herring and I got scared out of the water by a big tiger shark, but that's the first time I've ever seen a surfer come that close to being literally attacked in the water. Um, you know, Mick did exactly what he what he's supposed to do, get himself away from the board. Obviously, the, the shark was interested in his, uh, his board, uh, got tangled up in his leash, and that was a, a very scary situation. So right there, Mick and Julian breathe a big sigh of relief. The J-Bay Open final is currently on hold. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back at Jeff.